Hi, I'm Josh. And I'm Jerry. And welcome to our test pilot episode. And if you enjoy this, please subscribe. No time for weak or weary. Mornings start early for these guys. Before the sun, in the dark late night hours. Wake up, fuel up, gear up. But first, a little laughter and camaraderie. It's about, what time is it? 3.30. Is it 3.30? 3.30, <laughs> It's about 3.30 in the morning. We're uh, going to eat some food and go climb in the truck and jam out to the national anthem and get pumped up for this pour this morning. <laughs> so, eat eggs for breakfast. It'll go hair on the palm of your hands. I already have more facial hair than you and I don't eat eggs. <laughs> Poking fun at each other goes well with a hot breakfast. Well, that's the only difference is the hair. You guys all have like the same facial features. Oh, for the rest yeah, of we all look funny. <laughs> not at all. Not at all what I'm saying. I'm out of it. <laughs> She's like, leave, leave me out. Shana, you want to try? Jerry's laugh. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> 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 that ain't did yeah, that, There it is. What'd you say? <laughs> that ain't did. Great start to another long work day. High school is tough on a young man, but this is tougher. Concrete pours, no matter the family schedule. It's simple. Big jobs require a full team. Josh feels for his younger brothers, but his mind is firmly set in the make it work mentality. The family ties that these kids have is so cool. And to see the success. Some of the happiest, most hardworking kids I've ever been around. This great company that the, you know they're building up, and they're just the nicest people in the world. I mean, anytime they can give back to the community, I've yet to see them not do so. And just to see such a team of young, dedicated people that work so hard. And it's not just for the work, it's a, it's a dream building building something more than just a business. An extreme worry for today is wind. High wind and big concrete slabs, any concrete for that matter, but especially these big ones, they just do not mix. So we'll have our hands full for trying to get a decent finish for the, the contractor, the owner out here, you know. Wet concrete waits for no man. Be on time. You know, it's always a good sign when you drive past and see lights are up. That means guys are showing up. <laughs> You're not the first guy there 15 minutes before concrete shows up. So this is the, the slab where the lights are at. Much should be here in about 15 or 20 minutes. Safety meeting, concrete will be here right after that and then we're gonna get everybody going on their rolls and we'll get going. There's 316. Making so sure the ground is level and your team is safe. Vital steps before you start. There's our concrete. Just always be aware of where he's at, as far as the pump goes. Every hand on deck Especially better be working 100%. Take the skin off your feet, so keep boots on if you're going to be in the concrete, please. They are both kind of one of a kind. <laughs> you can't laugh. Close family and hard work can be a tough mix. It's on. But it's all worth it if they make you laugh. That ain't a full table. Then what is it? Marble table. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's gonna go in like that. <laughs> Even brotherly love has its cheap tricks. Oh, I go that way. That's not gonna work on me like it does that you. way. Ha! Damn. <laughs> <laughs> It's what? <laughs> and the winner always gets the last laugh. <laughs> we need to make for darn sure nobody walks underneath that thing with suspended lock. I put a lot of responsibility on Josh to be able to 
run these jobs, I kind of bid them and try to bring them in and keep us all busy and Josh makes it happen and he's very good at that. Some days I feel like a pretty good boss and some days I, <laughs> you know, every day has a has a bad day. I'd like to think I'm pretty good and easy going to get along with. I mean, show up on time, do your job. I'll joke around, we're happy, we enjoy it, but um, at the end of the day, it's still a job, we gotta tell the line. Guys are a little late sometimes. Today, Sancho was late, so can't tolerate that, especially on poor days, we need the help. Everyone has a job to do, and for Levi, this part of it isn't fun. Like, hey Sancho. You know you were late this morning, right? Yep. Well, we're gonna have to send you home. Yeah. So, keeps happening. We gotta take care of this. Sorry, but we have to do this without you. So. Well, one man down. <laughs> A little more work for the rest of us, but uh, give it the best we got. Yeah, no, it's, we're almost done. This pour, one more tomorrow, and we're done here. Dig a hole here. Even though I'm still pulling, and if we get 10 foot street board out, then it's... As daybreak dawns, the men push out their last bit of energy. Levi, and he runs a crew, so he's more of a supervisor. I don't feel like, you know, that they push us too hard or anything like that. It's, it should easy to get done, needs to get done. So they're not pulling two inches across the whole thing. Exhaustion setting in. Patience wears. Breaker! I just, I mean, I'm part of the rakers, so if I'm part of a raker, I need to get my ass there and do it. How many times are you gonna do that? You're making a mountain out of a molehill, JT. Hey, just make it fury. You gotta see enough. my main rakers. One of you are doing something else. We call ourselves professionals. We worked all winter long. And didn't matter if it was 10 below zero or 80, 90 degrees, it's just go, 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 you know. Finally, marking some success and accomplishment. Overall, the job went really well. Uh, we had plenty of help because we're training new guys and stuff like that, so sometimes it felt a little congested, but I think everybody Ready? learned a few things, and, you know, most of our guys here are the most experienced ones as far as on our crew, short of us growing up doing this. I mean, they've only been here a year. So a lot of these guys have only poured concrete for three months up to a year. Apparently, we, uh, we're we still in training mode. Well, this age group, we've hired older people before. And it's just, uh, they know it all. We're just too young, too dumb. Great crew to work for, though. Some of the Happiest, most hardworking kids I've ever been around. Why do you call them kids? Because they're kids. <laughs> Time for the young Steed brothers to head to school. Well, right now we just got off work and we're headed to school. We got up at like 3.30 this morning. Working with your brothers is probably different for other people, but these brothers decided to make us tough, so they said, no mercy, and we're gonna treat you like the rest of the crew. We can be your friend and brother off the job site, but when we're on the job site, you're there to work and act like it, so. Well, it was a tough deal there at the beginning, but they're doing pretty good now, and they've come a long ways, and I'm real proud of them. Jeremiah 5, it also needs to get moved up. Their brother is doing an amazing job raising two high school boys to taking them from foster care to now. These two have grown immensely. Uh, Russ likes to act like he's all tough and so he won't smile or won't, doesn't talk much and he just wants people to think he's a tough guy but inside he's a big softy really. So. And Joseph, he's a, he's a great kid and he wants to learn and he, he's uh, goofy and annoying as can be. Reminds me so much of Josh when he was younger. That just means he wants to learn, I guess. I have to remind myself that all the time. <laughs> 
Miss G is our welding teacher and she kind of helped us graduate last year, got me in summer school when I failed. Um, very sweet, very disciplined boys, um, that they needed a mom figure at school. Knock it off! <laughs> They're over here dancing. And so I'm their welding mom. And um, sometimes they don't like that because I put them in the role of being responsible for their schoolwork. Work has to get done, in and out of school. So we love having, uh, learn real life situations, learn to work, go to work, learn how to handle a job, but we also need them to have their education and a diploma so that they are not limited when they get out of school. In their family of 13, I believe they are, will be the first boys to graduate high school out of the 13 kids, if we can get them there. Rude and just, just hated school, I could just tell from the get-go. Just their brother was making them go to school, and I think that was important. So from that aspect to today, unbelievable. They work probably more than 90% of the adults here at the school work their tails off physically, and school is tough for them, and so mentally it's been challenging for them. It's something that we have a hard time teaching our students, that work ethic. That, you know what, this doesn't just come to you. You have to earn it. You have to bust your butt for it. I mean, I, I get jokes. I'm 27 years old, and I'm the, the old man of the crew. Other than Jerry, I'm the oldest guy here, including Josh. Josh is younger than I am. Uh, I'm 20 years old, pretty much just a laborer here, and I've worked here since November. I have not had any experience in concrete until I started working here. I think here with Steeds, how we're doing with a bunch of young guys, and we're going to be pretty doing pretty big things, I believe. So, They're professional beyond their years, you know what I mean? They're, there's no doubt about that. My comments on the quality of their work and their their professionalism for young kids, that's very impressive what what they're pulling off. Report for a lot of guys that are pretty lazy. Pretty good environment to work work here with them. Um, the way they treat us and we're able to do things that other crews normally wouldn't be able to do because we all get along a lot better because that respect is there both from Jerry and Josh and Levi to us and then vice versa us to them. When we had some guys that had experience there's a lot of butting heads because they were they had known to do it one way but Jerry wanted it done another way and it causes a lot of conflict. Well, that's the thing. Everybody, all the old time finishers and stuff around, they all kind of lean on each other because they say there's no, there's nobody, no new young kids coming up in the industry. Well, these kids that are working for Josh and Jerry didn't know anything about any of this when they went to work for them. And they took them on their wing and taught them. You know, it, it was my hats off to them because not very many people have patience to do something like that. You think you got to have the best people, and you know those kids are learning from them. An older person isn't going to go there and, and learn from Josh and Jerry, you know, they're not going to, they're not going to accept their ways, they're going to fight them. And I love working with them, I love working with Levi and Ross and Warren and I think you can choose your friends but you can't choose your family and if you choose to make your family your friends, you got friends for life. And that's the best kind of friends to have, they're always going to have your back. I'm driving over to uh, Pizza Ranch right now to meet with Jack. H&H &H Earthworks. This would be a great job to put it on. There's, I think, close to 3,000 feet of curb over there. So it's uh, these big contractors, it's, it's a little bit scary. Throwing your hat in the ring with the big dogs is intimidating. Well, Jerry, there are some cheaper guys out there, uh, but quality of work and customer service is very important to me. Uh, I have a really good reputation in this town that we've worked hard to establish. Experienced long-time relationships are hard to bid against. Jerry keeps his chin up and stays focused on the business at hand. So I just got done talking to Jack and I mean, you know, on a job that size it's, a, it's pretty hard to get in on some of those sometimes. A lot of times they'll give a company that's been here for 10 or 20 years um, the advantage over somebody like me because they've seen them around. They know what they can do. They know they're well established and it's, it's kind of tough getting stuff like that, but I don't know if he'll call me back or not. 
and that's just the way some of those go. I just got to stop by the office and uh, get working on that bid for the pizza ranch and check a few emails and go check on a few projects too. Hey, how's it going? Good, how are you? Oh, it's another day. Um, uh, I got a plan on the pizza ranch and um, I'm going to need the schedule of I've actually only been here three weeks now. Uh, I love it so far. Um, I think it's a really good company. They're definitely making their way around here, I'm getting a lot of stuff done. They're both really fun to work for. Three, 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 but we should probably double check with her. Okay. So, all right, thanks. All right, see ya. Jerry reaches the job site, worried over the weather call earlier from Josh. Windy out there. That slab's gonna suck to finish. Yeah, that's getting terrible out there. Yeah, you sure you don't need some help in the office today? Yeah. <laughs> You're ready, Luke. Oh, I got somebody calling me. Hold on a second. Hello. Hi, is this Terry? Yeah. Hi, this is Michelle with Dick Anderson. How are you this morning? Pretty good. How are you doing? I'm doing good. I wanted to thank you for your bidding on the Carroll College pool in Phil. You guys were the low bid on it, so you got the job. Um, I'll be sending you an email with a program called Procore. Uh, Great news right. is welcome. <laughs> Mother Nature is yeah. not. That's a really good piece of news or information to catch right in the midst of all the, you know, mayhem. And it wouldn't have been so bad at the wind, but we wore a hole in one of our pans. And so I had to pull the panner trowel off. I tried doing a four footer and got some concrete on me, unfortunately. But Yeah, I was calling to see if uh, if that eight foot trowel was ready to put back on the slab and to have it sitting there and ready so that when I got there, I could throw those pans on as fast as we could and slap that trowel back on the slab. Shit. Well, what the problem is with the wind is it drives the surface out. So the surface cracks and it goes through. And it's almost too hard to finish, but the underneath is off because the wind's not getting to it. Stress levels flare up with the speed of the wind. The battle ensues. The right team struggles the to work stuff. against surging gusts and rapid drying no, concrete. Jerry, he's a main god. Tell me, grab Can they afford to allow $40,000 to just blow away? Right now they say it's a consistent 30 miles an hour with gusts up to 60 miles an hour. So that's pretty bad. Second worst sign you can possibly see. Cracking not off corners, which means it's even that much worse. So, at this point, I would say there's about an 85% chance we've got to rip this out and start over, but there's still a chance we can save it, just it's very slim at this point. You know, if we end up having to replace this slab because of it, you're looking at about $40,000. So Josh feels the pressure of fighting a ticking clock without needed equipment. Well, you know, the wind was ripping and I saw the... Uh, everybody running around on that slab trying to cut those those pans down and make them fit that trowel and I just thought that time is of the essence there that the slab is not going to wait. Concrete doesn't wait. When it's on the ground you have to kick its butt or it's going to kick yours. Forces of nature, mounting time loss, last minute equipment failure builds. The odds are not in their favor. The new pan welded onto the old pan so that we could get back over there. And overall, it took me 45 minutes, and that was a lot longer than I wanted to take. But the only chance we're going to have it saving this is if we get that trial back on here and it has finished blades. So go up to the bin, get two sets of four foot blades, and change those immediately as fast as you can, please. How far out you think you are? If we can get them out here fast enough, we still might have a fighting chance, but. I want everybody that has any experience out here working this right right now. So we can't stop though. Hit this garage real fast. Be working this, okay? Of course, because since we're in such a hurry, these are directional. They can only go one way. You want this side to be down and this side to be up, so it travels this way. And we all the ones we have on so far are backwards. So at this point, I'm waiting for this trowel anyway. It's kind of our, our last resort, our only hope at this point to save some of this slab, or if not all of it. And 
Um, a lot of these guys are newer guys, so I haven't. Usually, I change these blades, but being in the bind way, and I had them get started, so it's kind of my fault that they got them on the wrong direction. But yeah, it's just another another thing that going wrong right at the wrong time. You know, we, we can't afford that. So, like I said, if that slab's got to come out, it's enough for a small company. It's, it's serious. That's enough to bankrupt somebody. That's you know, forty thousand dollars. That's a lot of money. You got to come with out of pocket. So extremely high percentage right now of, of not being able to save it. They're doing what they can but we got we just have we have to get this bigger trial out there so we needed them welded up quick and we came in you know frustrated and you know really needing them done quick so I had to stop on this and, and the whole time I was just thinking I kept looking at my clock going yeah it's been 20 minutes been 30 minutes with the wind uh, that can, a lot can change, so. Hello. Hey, I got a fan. Where you at? Okay. It's almost too late, but I think if you're on your way, we can, we got a fight chance of saving them, but it's it's still pretty iffy. So, you're not gonna get a good finish on that at all without panning it. This slide this size and, and the elements. Josh doesn't give up hope as Jerry finally arrives. It's so horribly uneven, it's burning and pumping all in the same spot. So what ended up happening is these fit the blades, um, and these are the old pans that wore a hole in them. You can see the hole here we wore clean through. So what we did is just weld them inside this other pan that's the new pan that didn't fit. So now the blade pattern will fit. Hopefully it's a temporary fix that will work. It's all riding on these makeshift pans. Will they work? Every time. It looks good. Pans fit, just in the nick of time. Stress level is definitely up there and that trowel is sitting in the middle of the slab and you're cutting on pans and I'd say we had it about 15% under control <laughs> for the most part when we got started. Josh takes a deep breath. Today they were lucky. I was kind of freaking out. It scared me a little bit on this one end because of how hard it was where we were just starting. Luckily it was a lot softer down here than I, than I thought it was so we were able to pull it back under control. but. You know, if somebody just had a couple of, if, if there wasn't ride-on power trials involved in this one, then it would have definitely come out. Yeah, I've got to quit early today. i got to go take some money from Jerry. He bet me, uh, since we're going to celebrate a little bit about getting some of these other jobs and it's been going well, we're going to go do some golf. And so I have to quit early because i got 20 bucks on it and I need to take 20 bucks from it. He owes it to me. So. Time to blow off steam with some well-deserved fun. Uh, we got our tea time, it's just out, uh, us out there so we can all go together. Come as you are, concrete pants and all. Don't hold back the swing. <laughs> I know they're all stared over because I got a camera. Can you hear this mic? <laughs> I just wish you weren't f***ing awkward, bud. <laughs> Put your butt out a little bit first. <laughs> a little farther, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny because he's the best golfer. At least I hit it the first go around. You guys keep your own score. I think mine come a zipping through here. Ozzy! Oh, no. Hunker underneath the bunker. Josh, feeling secure of his skill, drives himself into another rut. There's more than one way to get the job done. Better? <laughs> That's how we go. Maybe Jerry can show his little brother how it's done. <laughs> you know you're a good golfer when you hit the ball and it ends up five feet past where you started. My putt oh, skills were not to par. <laughs> if you get so my drift. I did it. onto the green. Oh, oh did you? <laughs> Anyone up for a little polo golfing?
Josh ensures his victory yet again. You never know what these brothers are going to be up to. Stay tuned for more high-stake, hard-working, tough Steed Brother adventures. Hey guys, thanks for watching our pilot test episode today. I had a lot of fun filming this, and I'd really like to film a new one each month. Wouldn't you agree? Yeah, definitely. And in order to make that happen, we need you to subscribe. Um, without those, then we can't make this happen. If you enjoyed this, subscribe here. Where? Oh, here. So, subscribe here. It's no, here. it's definitely over here. It's uh, here. If you click the link, also, we have some awesome gear. As you can see, we got hats, hoodies, uh, steedapparel.com. Just click the, the link in our bio. Here. It's over here. Click, click the here. link. <laughs> click the link in our bio to check out this awesome gear. Um, I'll bet you $20. It's right here. It's here. And you already took my $20. Give it back. I'll bet you it's your $20 here. back. That it's here. Here. We think it's here or here. So please subscribe. It's here. Yeah. <laughs> it's here.